In this video, we're covering the four unexpected strengths of being an introvert at work. If you feel you're struggling as an introvert in your workplace, fret not. Keep your head down, get your work done, and relish your innate strengths. What are some strengths of being an introvert at work? Tell us in the comments. Hi Contessas, welcome back. I'm Kayleen Cajayas, the content director here at Career Contessa, the only career site built for women. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We drop videos weekly. As an introvert myself, I used to long to be an extroverted person. However, as my career progressed, I put my energy into my work rather than into socializing with coworkers throughout the day. Here are a few ways that introverted employees are actually super awesome. Number one. No foosball equals more work done. Often, engineers or coders need a minute to get up from their screen and take a break. Hence the ever-present foosball table, especially in startup culture. But remember, all those midday breaks add up. I'm not talking about taking a needed break to stretch your legs or grab some vitamin D outside. I'm talking more about the five minutes here and the 10 minutes there that more social employees will take throughout the day. Those minutes can add up and can translate to less work completed. By definition, introverts are pretty drained by meaningless small talk. So instead of all the socialization, they're more prone to stick to the task at hand. Number two, introverts are generally less combative. Aside from being generally disinterested in gossip or trivial matters, introverts tend to be pretty thoughtful about what they actually say out loud. Introverts are generally difficult to rattle. Instead, they take time to carefully analyze situations. In a stressful circumstance, an introvert can often lend a calm perspective. Number three, introverts take direction well. A manager who is leading a group of introverts is likely a happy manager. Why? Introverts, unconcerned with being the loudest voice in the room, are likely listening more. As such, they take direction well, relish feedback, and are likely to improve pretty quickly. And this works both ways. Introverts are also really great in leadership roles. Think about the last time you offered your own manager feedback. Did she take it to heart or simply continue doing things her own way? Introverted leaders, concerned with listening and learning, will consider and implement great ideas from their employees. Number four, introverts can work alone. Since introverts thrive and recharge in solidarity, they make great solo workers. Projects that require long hours of repetitive or concentrated work are perfect for introverts. Rather than lamenting with other coworkers about how much work I have to do, an introvert is more likely to pop on her noise-canceling headphones, cue up her favorite podcasts, and get down to business. So those are just a few reasons that introverts are great to work with. But don't get us wrong, extroverts are great too. Like any office, it's great to have a balance. In a working environment, introverts and extroverts have an incredible amount of skills to learn from one another. No company can rely on employing 500 introverts. Who will do your fundraising? Who will guest host your podcasts? Great coworkers, great leadership, and great companies recognize that every person has a unique skill set, whether they fall on the extrovert or introvert side. Are you feeling a little wonky at work? You might be burnt out. Download our free burnout quiz to find out why. That's linked in the description below. What are some other great strengths of being an introvert at work? Tell us in the comments. Did you find this video helpful? Give us a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We drop videos weekly.